YouTube, what is up? That guy's here for a brand new video. Now, last week, Bandai, you know, they dropped some news on us saying Yugi was going to be in the game. I was excited. A lot of people were excited because they're like, yo, like, Yugi, he's not a fighter, but let's see what he does. So now, today, they dropped even more news on us and they dropped four pictures. So, let me read this, what they wrote from, you know, their official Twitter. And it reads, The legendary Yugi from Yu Gi Oh! is going to be playable in Jump Force, the ultimate modern crossover. He fights using spell cards and monster cards like Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, and Cypher the Sky Dragon. Now before I throw these pictures up, the thing that stood out to me is spell cards. You know, like, alright, so is he about to drop like Swords of Revealing Light on everybody? And then like you can't move for a certain amount of time? Or, I don't know, like you can't attack? Imagine. Or if you have Monster Re or if he like throws out Monster Reborn, can you, uh, you know, get half of your life, or I have your life points, half of your health bar back, like, oh, speaking of life points, what if Yugi's health bar is like life points in the game, huh, they like stay, like, I don't know, like, yo, think about it, think about it, but, what, what spell cards could he possibly use, like, you know, could he hit them with something to make them lose life, could he hit them with, I don't know, uh, something so, he gains life points, or he gains life, or health, whatever. You, like, I'm just, I'm thinking about it. But there, you know, there's a lot of possibilities with that spell card thing that they put up. Mind you, they say trap card, so you can't, you know, you can't just put down a bottomless trap hole or something and just banish them. But, like I said, spell cards is, you know, has me speculating. But let's just drop, dive right into the pictures. And the first picture is Yugi. Holding a card, his signature stance of the card, grit his teeth like, yo, look, it's over, like, you're gonna lose. In the next picture, we have Dark Magician Girl, he's like, hey, look, this is my bae, me and bae are about to blow y'all away, pause, and you know what, we're gonna destroy you guys, no problems, no question asked, we're moving on, Naruto, you're next. Then, in the third picture, you know, we have Dark Magician charging up his Dark Magic attack, about to unleash hell on Sasuke and Vegeta and Frieza, because I don't know why in the trailer they be messing up Frieza, but I know when that trailer drops, they're going to be fucking up Frieza. And in the last picture, which is very telling to me, we have Yugi doing his regular stance, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, one take, doing, you know, their regular stance, and then we have Slifer in the background. Now, I'm pretty sure Yugi's not going to be able to just straight up summon Slifer and just be like, all right, yeah, like, go fight Goku. I, no, I don't think so because Slifer is way bigger than Goku. And that would be, like, kind of broke if you have this big dragon fighting Goku. And, you know, I've played Monster Hunter in the past couple, you know, the past couple weeks. And usually when something's bigger than you, sure, they have a bigger, a bigger area, but it's harder for the bigger person to see the smaller person. And it's harder for them to make those those dicks, you know, those, those turns. So, I'm, I started, you know, being the weirdo that I am, I started to think to myself, what if Slifer is the ultimate? You know, wait, what if he, he opens his, his second mouth, because you, you always told him to open his second mouth in the Battle City Tournament. Oh, sorry. And, you know, that, that's, that move or whatever does mad, like, health, you, know, you lose mad health, you lose mad life, like, what if that's the ultimate? So then it got me thinking too, like this is very telling because now what if they're taking arguably the best arc of Yu-Gi-Oh, which is the Battle City Tournament. You know, you guys are arguing all you want. I think that was like the best part of Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever came after that, except for the last arc. But that was like the best part. Uh, Yu-Gi did his thing. But the reason why I say that is because look at Yu-Gi's outfit. Like, alright, he sure, you know, and, and the dual disc, the dual disc. You can't take it from the first part because he wasn't ha he didn't have that dual disc. I mean, they're not gonna take it from Waking the Dragons because who who really liked Waking the Dragons like that? And the last part, I mean, it, it wouldn't make sense. But the Battle City is more iconic in the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise, along with the first part, the uh, well, I don't even know what that arc is called. So then it started making me think. Well, if Yu-Gi has Slifer, what if they have Kaiba, and Kaiba has Blue Eyes White Dragon? Another one of his signature cards, or, you know, multiple cards about his deck, because it does say, you know, Yugi can, he fights using spell cards and monster cards like, and they give you a few. 
So what if he has, you know, blue eyes and a few of his, and Obelisk is his ultimate, and now, you know, he clenches both his fists and just makes you lose mental health. You know, it's just a thought. And then it makes me think, too, all right, so, now what about, now, if they're doing it from that part, what if they get Joey? So what if Joey has, I don't know, Red Eyes and Gear Fred or um, Jinzo and Gear Fred and Red Eyes is his ultimate. He does Red Eyes, Darkness Metal Dragon. Like, yo, it's a lot of, it, yo, the thing is, the thing I like about this, and then I like about the anime community is, we can all just sit here and speculate, and you know, we can all, I mean, I'm not gonna be sad when my theories are correct, but it may, you know, I was able to, you know, we we're all able to sit here and, con you know, conversate and talk about, or converse and talk about um, stuff they could possibly add to the game. And seeing that, you know, they could possibly add, you know, the Battle City part of you, yeah, that would be dope. Now, for, you know, people who like GX, maybe they might add GX characters at DLC, or maybe GX characters that come in early. You know, you got Cyrus, you got Zane, you got Jaden, uh... Uh, Ch uh, Chaz, you know, you could have those characters, maybe Chaz might use the old dramas, I, I don't know. Then with uh, 5Ds, you might have Jack Atlas, you might have Crow, you say, like, the, it, look, it's endless possibilities of what they can do with Yu-Gi-Oh, this is, they're dropping this news on us, just keep scratching, you know, they're just keep digging away at us, digging away, digging away. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, if you guys made it this far in the video, that in Japan they're having a beta. Right? I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's not the U.S. And I'm just going to be conceited. Uh, Japan is having a beta. And yeah, like, so that makes me think, like, are we going to get a beta? And I don't know why I saved this for the last part, but Japan is getting a beta. And uh, yeah, so it makes me think, like, we could possibly get a beta. I mean, it would make sense, you know. Uh, anime is strong over here. I mean, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, those animes. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh for sure. Death Note, eh, eh. They messed it up with the Netflix movie, but we won't talk about that. But it makes me think, like, yo, like, will we possibly get a beta as well? Uh, <laughs> I spent too much time theorizing about the game when I wanted to talk about the beta as well. But yeah, it makes me think, like, you know, the beta, there is a beta coming in Japan, and that's very telling because it's like we could possibly get a beta, even though I know sometimes we don't get betas for certain games, but this could be the one. We could get a beta. I'm just, look, I'll be happy if we get this beta. I mean, I got a PlayStation 4 and I saw the betas on PS4, so I mean, Bandai, what's up? Send me the code. <laughs> Send us all the code. I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to be selfish. Send us all the code. But, Yo, know, these are just my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys made this far in the video. And as well, if you guys made this far in the video, uh, for the past couple of days, I've been streaming Black Clover Quartet Nights on my Twitch. So I'm gonna leave that down below. You know, come through, come chill, come talk. You know, everybody there is chill some of the times. You know, I like to chill out. I don't like to, you know, I, I just like to play the game. I like to talk to people. It's all, it's all good stuff. So yeah, make sure, you know, come check out my Twitch. Come drop a follow. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. These are my thoughts and opinions, you know. I don't know if anybody made this far in the video, but you did. Please drop a like. Don't drop a dislike, because it hurts my heart. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And it's that guy C4, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.